you telling me all this? Well, I simply wonder if you're capable of understanding him better than that silly little twit, Emily. Now, please tell me that he doesn't cry out her name when you're making love. Now, I want you to know you can come to me anytime. I'm sure I'll be fine. I can take care of myself without any help from you. Well, I'm very good at handling Nicholas when he gets stubborn. You'd be wise to take my advice. I asked you to leave me alone. I don't want anything to do with you. Why the sudden hostility? Oh, I see. Come out. Come out of the shadows, my darling boy. Don't hide from that which troubles you. That's so like Stefan. You're better than that. You're right, I am troubled. I mean, there's no reason for the two of you to be having such an intense conversation here on the docks, is there? Well, so I have to wonder why. Would you like to tell him? Or should I? You didn't say anything. Becca? Well, tell Nicholas what we were discussing. Oh, I'm sure he'll find it fascinating. But don't look so guilty. No, it might imply that you're hiding something. What are you up to? Well, nothing. No, I'm just passing the time taking in the sights and sounds of this wretched town while I'm awaiting delivery of my painting. I was on my way back to work. Your grandmother stopped me. She's been trying to impress on me how fixated you were on Emily and uh, suggesting that I exploit the fact that I resemble her. <laughs> well, then you should probably avoid the docks altogether. It's overrun by criminals, lowlifes, and unsavory such characters. Why, well, you make me sound so diabolical. No, it's good. I, I rather like that. Oh, and darling, please, listen to Nicholas. Be careful with whom you speak. You warned me she was psychotic. You weren't kidding. No, I wasn't. But I have to ask you, why would you even give her the time of day? Being removed from the vault and brought to my home immediately. So this is how it works, huh? Throw accusations at me and then jump in your little boat and leave me standing on the docks? I didn't uh, throw any accusations at you. I simply asked why you were having a conversation with my grandmother when you claimed you had no business Claim? With it's no claim. It's the truth. The first time I saw the old bat is when she showed up on the monitors in the hospital reopening. If I never saw her again, I'd be ecstatic. I resent the fact that you're acting like I'm lying or that I have some sort of a secret agenda. Do you? damn thing that I ever asked you for, you arrogant. See, you can't, because I didn't. You're the one who came after me. You're the one who offered me money and a place to live and a place to work. I turned you down every single time. That's true. Right, so why are you accusing me? Why don't you look at it from my point of view for a second? Okay? You've been playing hard to get this whole time, right? Well, after what I just saw on the pier, that certainly would be the smart thing to do. Oh, my it? God! I mean, you're just as nuts as your grandmother. Look, I don't, I'm, I'm not saying I know anything definitively, but there are far too many coincidences here. Okay, so you think what? That I'm part of some evil plot to take your precious little Emily's place? <sighs> Why would I even want to? The poor woman was married to a lunatic. understand. I mean, if you thought so badly of me, then why did you offer to help me out during my cancer scare? Because. Because I wanted to believe that what you went through was real. And the vulnerability you showed while you were waiting for your biopsy results was real. And Rebecca, if I did help you, I'm glad. It's just in retrospect, I can't help but wonder, you know? Because those are exactly the kind of mind games my grandmother is famous for. Shouldn't have come back. I don't need this. Wait, hey, hey, will you just try and understand where I'm coming from, please? 
My entire life, my grandmother has gone to the end of the earth to try and manipulate me. She'll tell any lie, concoct any scheme. She's even, she's even had people killed, all for one goal. And that's to control me and my inheritance. Now, as crazy as that may seem to you, it is not that unlikely to me that she would put an Emily lookalike in my life, all right? Uh, right, she really had people killed. Yes. Charming, right? Well, why don't you just turn her into the cops? Because she has a particular gift for evading prosecution, amongst other things. Look, look, I've had, I tried to have her banished from my home, but like I told you, she knows all the secret ways in. I've even had to send my little boy away so she doesn't use him against me. Now, I know that you think Alexis and I are completely paranoid about this, but using you is not remotely implausible for him. Oh, yeah. Well, if you really believe that, then why waste your time explaining, huh? Why give me another chance because, to you? Because I want to believe you. I want to believe that you're not working for her. So much it scares me. Look, I don't know what you and I are to each other, but I'm not going to be scared away by paranoia and false accusations. Oh! Nicely done. That was even better than the last one. Great performance. Helena would be very proud of you. I appreciate your concern, but I can handle this myself. You are not handling it, Nicholas. You are obsessing over that clone that Helena has dropped in your lap. Oh, you <laughs> bitch! That's enough. But if you think I'm gonna run out of here like I did last time, think again. Wait, uh, can, can we please calm down? I don't want to interfere in your life. I don't like doing it, but someone's got to, and I'm all you've got. Now, you know better. Helena's minions cannot be trusted, and that woman is just phase one of what's gonna be much, much worse for you. Look, I get that you're Nicholas's aunt. He explained why you're both so paranoid, and I get it. Last time I checked, in this country, innocent until proven guilty. Is she honestly gonna lecture me about the law? We knew something was up when you showed up here looking exactly like Emily. Enter Helena, and it's obvious. She bought you, groomed you, and had whatever altered, altered. Oh, I was right. Insanity does run in your family. She knew that you would be vulnerable to somebody like her. So you're making a lot of allegations without any proof here. You want proof? Yes. I don't blame you. Really? Because let's see what we can find. See for yourself. That scar is from plastic surgery. 